Hey YouTube, it's Cab Over Gary back. It's been a little while since I made a video. Happy New Year's, by the way, guys. So, uh, that girl, the head, I paid for and stuff. It shipped, uh, finally got shipping last Sunday. It went to Utah. Uh, I'm in Texas, so that's probably not a good thing. I can't get a hold of the company. They're uh, closed for the holidays. So, uh, hopefully tomorrow they'll be there. Uh, find out what's going on with that but yeah fortunately that's still at a standstill waiting on that so what I do so a lot of my work uh, is smaller stuff like under 10,000 pounds and I just throw it on the flatbed of the old cab over but uh, being down for a month now um, definitely isn't good for business so I decided to buy a pickup truck, a one-ton pickup truck. But I couldn't just buy any. There was a one in particular that I was wanting. 97 Ford F350 and a four-wheel drive regular cab. So even this one uh, has what I call kitty features on it. These are really hard to find trucks that are in somewhat good shape. And this one I believe is got it owned it uh did stuff i don't like to it and i'm gonna slowly return it to stock like the wheels those are supposed to be sold today these tires i personally everybody has their own opinion don't understand how people drive those on the road they're horrible they're like driving a plane down the road but uh those things are like hot cakes when you put them up for sale um the truck's also got a six inch lift on it. I don't know if it's a four or a six. I got it in now with Fox shocks on it. So the lift's coming off, it's going to stock. The front springs that I'm gonna order will level the truck. It's uh, still a stock spring, but they have different codes for the springs. And the code that I'm ordering is gonna make it so the truck sits level. Uh, so those are on the way. The fender flares are coming off and all the black lights on the top and the back and stuff are coming off but uh let's talk about what powers this thing so this thing is and the front bumper that's coming off too going back to a stock one so this thing has a 7.3 liter power stroke in it it does have uh, an inner kit cooler kit added to it and bellowed up pipes and a new uh, high pressure oil pump. That's the only modifications I could find to the motor. Uh, so that's all good news there. Truck's got just over 200,000 miles on it. Seems to run great. The other thing that was really hard to find that I wanted in one of these is this is a manual truck. So it's a manual five speed truck. Uh, ZF5 is the transmissions that are in these. Uh, that's a pretty hard truck to find and uh that's why i had to buy one uh had so much modifications done to it but uh but it does have a new clutch in it all the new u joints are in it uh, so i feel like that's good the guy was definitely not afraid to spend money like he bought those shocks are 200 dollars each that he put on it and then uh it's got this steering dampener kit on it and then, like, even the diff covers, that's an ARB one in the front. And the one in the back a AFE one. I mean, he's got $700 in diff covers on it. Uh, oh, and it does have a, a downpipe and a straight 3.5-inch exhaust. It has Firestone airbags on it. And those taillights are going away. Uh the body's okay it's got some dents here and there but not too bad i'm planning on eventually fixing them uh interior wise it's pretty clean so it does have the door panels that had wood on it at one time that I, eventually i'll do something about down the line it has bronco seats in it and then that center console is out of a six liter Ford, I believe. And the reason that's sitting so high is because there's a massive subwoofer box on it that's coming out of it. 
uh, so that'll sit back normal. But I was originally going to put a bench seat back in it, but after driving this thing, those seats are uh, actually pretty dang comfortable. So if I could get that center console to sit right, I think it'll be a, a nice setup. But yeah, interiors, I mean, it's livable for now. This is cracked, of course, and that uh, gauge thing is cracked. Uh, and then it's got a Hurst shifter in it. I mean, okay. But, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the interior. It's not too bad. It's not going to take much to get it to where I'm happy with. So yeah, that's my project. So I, last night, about eight o'clock at nine, I posted the wheels, the bumper, the suspension, the lights, the fender flares up online for sale and i can't believe how many people responded to those wheels everybody wants those wheels so there's a guy coming from about 200 miles away he's on his way to pick up the wheels a guy's supposed to come get the bumper today another guy's supposed to come get the fender flares today i mean they sold fast which is good i really need to sell the suspension but my plan is is to get this truck back in stock form without spending any more money so I'm going to put factory style Alcoa wheels on this with Michelin or BF Goodrich, you know, some good tire on it and stock bumper. And I want to do that with the money I get from selling this stuff. And I think it's going to happen. Uh, the wheels I sold for, which will cover brand new tires and brand new wheels within about 200 bucks. So that's good. And I found this bumper. Everybody wants that bumper. And uh, it's going to go for more than what the, a, repl a good used replacement used one is. So that's a good deal. And those fender flares, I can't believe how many people want them. Anyways, uh, and I have nothing against it. Everybody has their own taste. Like, I need this to be able to pull a trailer reliably. And you're not going to pull a trailer with six-inch blocks and those mud tires on it. So I understand the guy that wants this look of a truck and they're kind of driving around town and stuff like that i understand that completely and i have nothing against that if that's what you want that's what you do i mean it's your truck after all i like stock or as close to stock a couple tastefully modifications is what i'm after these days so that's uh that's my plan also the factory alcoas they look just like the wheels on my big truck so that's kind of a cool add into it so uh i'll set you guys up and do like a time lapse of me stripping this truck down well guys i already think it looks quite a bit better i took the fender flares off the wheels off there's all the wheels the guys should be here about an uh, hour to get them uh no rust underneath here the chrome was gone unfortunately i really want the chrome trim back there uh they all look good these spacers are being a royal pain to get off uh but and it's starting to rain that's why i haven't been filming is because i'm trying to get this done before it rains and then i knew this dent was here but it went underneath the flare some so i got a little bit of straightening up to do there for what i want with the truck but uh this side is the worst side right here here and here and there those are the worst dents on the truck. Uh, so I'll, I'll get that all taken care of though. So I'm going to keep at it. It is raining right now. So I need to get the bumper off still. And I need to get those spacers off. So that's all ready to go. Truck's on jack stands. Uh, I cut this wood and put it under the base. So it doesn't sink in the gravel. But those are 12 ton jack stands. So I feel pretty good about it. Uh... And then hopefully before I do too much more, uh, I'll have my wheels and tires that I want here for it. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy so far. I'm going to continue removing stuff and I'll be back. Well, YouTube, that's all I got for today. Guy picked up the wheels and tires, so I got my money. I'm going to go deposit in the bank and order my factory stuff. I know I'm boring. So what I got left to take off, I got to take the lift off of it. I'm going to take the diff covers off and paint them black just because I don't want red diff covers. Uh, and change the fluid and all that too. 
I'm gonna do front brakes, uh, just so they're fresh. And then uh, I gotta order the springs, or I have the springs ordered. So they should be here this week. And then I'm gonna, while I'm waiting for the head, I'm gonna wire wheel the frame and paint it to clean it up and uh, pressure wash it and fix that fuel leak that it has right now. Uh, it has that fuel leak that 7.3s have on the back of the head. So, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I did uncover a couple things. I uncovered that this, those caps did hide a dent on both sides there. And on this other side, I knew there was some denting over here, but it's uh, worse than I thought it was. So I could see this, but it's dented like all three here that's okay i am planning on doing fixing the dents and spraying it out at my buddy's shop just because i have the facilities to do it and it's more it's a lot of work but it's not a whole lot of money so uh that's kind of my plans and also i think it uh will look good freshened up the hood's a little thing. oh one thing that does suck is when I put that bumper on, they trimmed the end of this bumper. I don't think they trimmed it much. I think this is the stock, so they cut this angle. I don't know if I need this bolt or not here, so I gotta see. If any of my viewers have one of these trucks and knows uh, how the end of these frames look, I would appreciate it if you guys posted something. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, figure out that and then figure out how the bumpers are supposed to mount hopefully uh hopefully it doesn't affect a whole lot hopefully the bumpers mount here and this being cut's not going to affect anything but we shall see uh all the steering looks pretty good though it's uh seems tight so i'm happy about that so i'm i'm pretty happy overall here's the pile of stuff that waiting on people to pick up well, then, let me show you. These didn't make it out of the parking lot. These. I mean, not me. <laughs> but, whatever. To each their own. I mean, if it's your truck, do what you want with it. That's what I'm doing. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i know this isn't cab over content that's coming as soon as the head comes back i just have nothing to do on it until then and uh this is also going to be a truck that i use for work so i'm planning on using this to tow chippers and those vacs and stuff uh the lighter stuff uh and it's also gonna eventually replace my car once this is all set up right uh so yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one